Hello, welcome to the Karma Yoga app. You can access the app from the Google Play Store or simply type karmayoga.app on the browser's address bar. This takes you to the application. Take a minute to create a link to the app on your phone's home page for easy access whenever you need to return to the app. Click on the free button menu. Click on the add to home screen button. Click on the add option on the pop up. And your app shortcut is ready on your home screen. You may notice that the shortcut is just about one megabyte and does not eat up your phone's memory. Just click on the shortcut and it takes you to the app. Back on the app enter your 10 digit mobile phone number. To activate the sign in button. Click on it. If you are a new user. You now have two options. 1. To request a verification code or. 2. To go back to the login page if you want to come back using a different phone number. Please click on the request verification code button. We'll receive a four digit private code via SMS to activate your account. If you don't receive the code, you can request that it be resent. Enter the four digit code and click to verify your code. You can now create your personal access code for easy access. Please remember this number for future access. This will help you log in without the need for a verification code. Or you may skip this step if you prefer to work with a verification code rather than an access code. If you ever forget your access code you can always log in with the verification code and create a new access code on the profile page. If you are a returning user, once you type in your mobile phone number and click the sign in button, you will be led to the access code screen. Enter your four digit access code and it will lead you to the resources page. Now you are on the resources page and this is highlighted in the bottom menu bar or on the left vertical bar if you are using a device with a larger screen. At this time you will notice that the menu has four other options to allow you to access various sections. 1. The dashboard or home page. 2. The matching page. 3. The profile page. And 4. The about page. We will explain each of these pages as we go along. On this page you will see a list of categories. Scroll down the page to see the categories available on the page. Use the pagination button to scroll through each page. You can also choose the number of categories to be displayed in each page. There are 140 plus categories listed so far. If you are specific you can find the category that interests you using the search bar. For example, let us search for carpenters and you will see a list of carpenter categories. Can't find a category you are interested in? Click on the add button and submit your request. We will revert to you quickly when your required category gets posted. Now you know why the app leads you to the categories page. So that you can immediately understand what resources are available on the platform. You will also see two columns one orange and one blue, against each category. You choose the orange column if you are recruiting tradesmen for your project, or the blue column of you are looking for a job, posting your availability. Please note that at all times, the app will highlight in orange all information related to recruitment and in blue all information related to those looking for jobs. You may also notice numbers listed against each box. These numbers represent the current numbers of postings on the app in each category, the number of jobs available, in the orange column and of the number of people looking for a job, in the blue column. Please note that the most popular jobs available are listed at the top and similarly the categories with the most number of tradesmen looking for a job. Choose the appropriate category and click on the orange column box if you want to recruit tradesmen or click on the blue column box if you are looking for a job. One can either recruit or find a job or do both. What makes the Karma Yoga app unique is that one can both recruit and also seek a job from the same screen. No multiple logins. This is especially useful for a contractor trying to expand his business.
Now let us assume that we are looking to recruit helpers for block work. Click on the box against this category in the orange column and I look for jobs for block work masons. Click on the box against this category in the blue column. Once you have decided and completed your selection, click on the conveniently located continue. If you are a new user, you are now taken to the registration page for additional details. Here you have the choice to decide whether you are an organization or an individual by toggling the button on top of the screen. If you are registering as an organization, enter your GST number and most of the information is auto-filled. Please fill in the other required information and specifically the mandatory ones. If you are registering as an individual your phone number is automatically filled in. Please fill in the other required information and specifically the mandatory ones. This information is used to verify that you are a genuine user and not a computerized robot. This also ensures the integrity of the app. On submission of this information it takes you to the Terms and Conditions page, sometimes referred to as the End User License Agreement. Here are the conditions governing. 1. Your relationship with Onisource Karma Yoga, and 2. The relationship you will have with third parties connected through Karma Yoga app. Please read it carefully. Then, check on the I have read the Terms and Conditions box, and click the Accept button. Now you are in the requirement posting page. This is where you enter data regarding your requirements. Remember, your recruitment entries are highlighted in orange and your job application entries are highlighted in blue. Let us look at entering data for recruitment of block work helpers. Against your requirement, you will notice a map pin and a waste bin icon. Use the bin if you change your mind. Click on the map pin. The app will lead you to a map which will give you real-time prices demanded at different locations. This information can help you to understand the market price dynamics of the tradesman services for this category. Click on the Go Back to Resources button to take you back to the Requirements posting screen. Choose from the drop-down city list the location for which you want to recruit. On the drop-down list of cities, you will also notice the price your competitors are willing to pay for the category at each city. These pricing information will assist you in understanding the pricing dynamics. Note that you can choose the location you are currently hiring for. If you are looking to recruit for different locations you will need to make multiple entries following the above process. Enter the number of people you want to recruit and the price offered per unit of measurement of work. We have chosen the UOM to bring in standardization. In an upcoming release you may also choose a daily rate against a standard daily productivity. Now that you are done posting your recruitment requirement, proceed to the requirement posting for the jobs you are applying for. Let us look at entering data for job hunting of block masons. As above you will notice the map pin and a waste bin icon against your requirement. In this case the map pin will give you a real-time prices recruiters are willing to pay for this trade. This information can help you to understand the market price dynamics of the trade category you have chosen. Click on the Go Back to Resources button and choose from the drop-down list of cities the locations for which you want to recruit. Note that you can choose multiple locations. As long as you are willing to work in those places at the same price you are going to enter. If you want to offer your services at different prices, you will have to repeat the process post completion of this process.
You will also notice the prices your competitors are willing to accept for this category in different cities. Both these information is to assist you in understanding the pricing dynamics. Armed with the market price information you can now enter the number of people who are looking for a job and the price you require per unit of measurement of work. Click on the add button to enter one or more tradesmen who are looking for a job in this category. If you find this process laborious or have a large list of people, you can click on the template button to download and fill in the list of tradesmen willing to work. The names are mandatory, while the Ardha pan is necessary. The phone and pan Ardha numbers will remain confidential as per government regulations but are required for us to verify the genuineness of the names of tradesmen being offered. This guarantees the integrity of the app. Once you have filled in the names, Click on the upload button to confirm. You may then want to check the correction button. On clicking this button you will get a list of your invalid entries which you can correct and confirm using the upload button. Please note that the number of people you have listed will be aggregated and posted on clicking the submit button. Once the listing is done, click the submit button. If for some reason you don't want to continue, you have the option of discarding your entire posting. If you are recruiting, you will be led to the payment gateway hosted by Razorpay. You will be required to make a payment of Rs 10 for every person you are recruiting to register your posting. If you are looking for a job, you will not be charged. You will then be directed to the dashboard page. Once the payment process is completed if you are recruiting or directly if you are looking for a job, you will notice the summary of your orders at the bottom of the requirement posting page. Recheck your postings and confirm by clicking on the submit button. When you click on the submit button you are led to the payment gateway hosted by Razorpay. Complete the information and make a payment of Rs 10 for registration of your recruitment posting. This is a demonstration and we will show you how you enter the information. You have access to multiple ways to make the payment. Choose the one that is most convenient for you. Once the payment process is completed, you will be redirected to the dashboard screen. If you are only applying for a job, you will be taken to this dashboard screen from the requirement posting screen. When you click on the submit button, now you are on the dashboard or home page. This page has two tabs. The pending tab lists all your postings for both recruitment and applications. Again recruitment in orange and application for a full job in blue. The completed job lists all the postings where a match has been found between an applicant and a recruiter. Click on the view button. This takes you to the matching page. Now you are taken to the matching page. Clicking on the expand arrow, you can view your orders and their position in respect to other offers and bids. Let us view a couple of them. Your recruitment orders are highlighted in orange and your job applications are highlighted in blue. You will notice that the various open recruitment postings are listed with the highest offer at the top and the others in descending order on the other hand. The various open job application postings are listed with the lowest price at the top and the other bids in ascending order. You can check out where your offer stands in relation to both your competition and where your counterparty offers stand. You will notice that the most competitive orders are listed at the top. And if you are not at the top, you may want to amend your price to move your order to the top of the list. Another unique feature of our app is that you can change your price based on the information on this page and the criticality of your requirements. This page allows an online negotiation opportunity. Without the hassles of multiple face-to-face -face meetings the pricing is by means of an intelligent machine algorithm once the two prices match. An e-contract is generated and posted on the completed tab of the dashboard, which can easily be accessed at your convenience. You will also be notified via an SMS when a match happens or whenever there is a new entry for the category and location. Now, click on the dashboard button on the menu bar. This will take you back to the dashboard. 
Choose the completed tab to check if any matches have been made against your recruitment and job application requirements. You will notice that the dashboard's completed tab has listed the two requirements we had matched in the matching page. Click on the download button to view the e-contract. This e-contract contains the same terms and conditions as those you had agreed for at the time of registration. View the e-contract. The e-contract and your counterparty contact information is displayed there. You may now contact each other and begin your commercial activity. The e-contract can be accessed at any time from the completed tab on the dashboard. You will note that the e-contract is a legally valid document duly electronically signed by both parties. Congratulations! You have just completed the recruitment of tradesmen and simultaneously your job application has been accepted by a recruiter. The Karma Yoga app is as simple as that. Your recruitment and job application requirements are completed in just a few clicks.